power within. February 11, 2017 So many of you are concerned about the state of the world. You are concerned about your peace, your safety, your economy, and your environment. You are worried that the actions of those in power could affect you in an adverse ways, and hopeful they will affect you in positive ways. We hear many of you asking, what is the world coming to? From our perspective, the world has always been a mixture of light and dark, truth and misunderstanding. Your Earth, dear ones, is a school in which every single one of you, without exception, no matter how dark or how light one might seem, is attempting to find their way back to love. Earth is a classroom in which you study your greater self. You look in the mirrors of life around you and decide what you wish to bring to the surface. Will you choose love or fear? Will you take back your divine power to create your life as you wish it to be, or will you give this power away to others around you? What you see on your news today has always been present. The only difference between now and times past is that you have access to information that was once hidden. For better or worse, you are seeing the greed, intolerance, bigotry, separation and control dramas that have always gone on, but often in secret. Now you are given an opportunity to look at these things directly and ask yourself, do I wish to empower greed in my own life? Do I wish to support the vibration of intolerance? Do I wish to love or to create divisiveness, both within myself and in the outer world? In order to heal bigotry, stop condemning that which arises within yourself. In order to heal hatred, stop the self-criticism. In order to heal greed, allow yourself abundance and be grateful. What you want to heal on the outside, you must address at the roots, within each and every one of you. It does little good to hate the haters, to be prejudiced against the prejudice, and to condemn those who would condemn others. In judging and correcting others, you may prune the branches of the problem, but at the same time you are watering its vibrational roots. Instead, love the light within all beings, no matter how confused or dark they may seem. Imagine fanning the flames of the divine spark within them. Pray for their upliftment. Pray also for your own upliftment dear ones, for a single soul standing in the light of love and truth is in power far more powerfully than an army of souls lost in darkness. The Angels Channeled by Ann Albers www.visionsofheaven.com